Hey everybody, it's uh, Aaron, and uh, as you can see, I'm back in college. It is March 13th, 2012, and it is 10.38 p.m. Um, as you can tell by the title probably right now, I am not going to do a big update here. Uh, I got something that I've been waiting in the mail for a long time now, and if you know, if, I don't know why this camera's changing, it's because I'm sorry shaking the desk here. Um, I got something in the mail that I've been waiting for for some time and it is uh, this. It's the Monkees original album series. They do this with a lot of artists like this last time I showed uh, Scorpions original album classics that's Sony. For uh, Warner Brothers they do uh, al original album series. So um, this is their installment of the monkeys. It came out in 2009, and I got it uh, around the week that uh, Baby Jones passed away, which was about two weeks ago. And uh, it took a while to get here. I had to change the address. Uh, it was going to ship home, and I said, "No, please ship it here," because I thought it was going to go home. But uh, but it came here, and uh, I'm really liking this. This is a great introduction. Like, I liked the Monk. I was never a big Monkees fan, to be honest with you, but um, I liked a lot of their songs, and I, I, even before Davey passed away, I wanted to get uh, some of their music, and this was on the top of my list, but then I heard some bad things about the sound or whatever, so I wanted to get each individual album, but this is better, because this is 21 bucks, and to get one of these is like, what, six, or like... You do the math. It, this is the one to get. However, the packaging on these things, as I've shown you with the scorpions, is not the best. Here's what you get here. Now, unlike the scorpions, all of them here are color coded with individual colors around the five albums. Now, if you must know all the albums, um, the Monkeys, more of the Monkeys, Headquarters, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Jones Limited, and the Birds, Bees, and the Monkeys. Uh, they're all great albums, and uh, I guess I have a preference between one or two of them, so I'll just go into each album here and uh, say what I feel about it. Uh, this is the first Monkeys album here, of course. And uh, almost every song on here uh, was used in television series, so I was familiar with a lot of the songs here. Uh, the theme song, obviously, I really like Saturday's Child. Uh, Tomorrow's gonna be another day. Papa Jean's Blues. Last Train to Clarksville. Uh, Let's Dance Song's pretty good. Gonna buy me a dog is just <laughs> what the heck were they thinking? Although they didn't write the, most of their songs in their early career, but uh, yeah, this is a really good album. Uh, very Beatlesque and just a, a really great listen. First Monkey's album is great. So Now, what the packaging is like here, you see, it's like, this is literally cardboard. I looked at it, it's cardboard. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if the other ones were in cardboard, but, uh, okay, then the second album, War of the Monkeys, and, uh, has a very fitting title. It's the last album, was called The Monkeys, but this is more of the monkeys. <laughs> And uh, this album uh, is notable because if I saw a few documentaries on the Monkees that this is the album that the band was completely unaware of. In this picture, they thought they were doing something for J.C. Penney's apparently, and it turned out now nope, it's the cover of their second album, and they didn't know about it. And that's when they get, got rid of Don Kirshner, or sooner or later they got rid of him. I mean, the guy didn't sound like a real. I know he's dead now, but. <laughs> He doesn't sound like a great guy. Uh, this one is not as good as the first album, but it's got some good songs. 
she, it's a very good, good song. Mary Mary, I'm not a stepping stone, very proto-punk. Um, what else here? Okay, here comes tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, and then I'm a believer. It, 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 this is a great album. This is a good album. Just good. I, I take back the great thing. This is a good album, but there's some. There's one weak spot here, and that is uh, the day we fall in love, which is not even singing. It's just David uh, just reciting lyrics to music. It's not even singing. It's just. Uh, The band got more control on their third album here, Headquarters, and I think this is my favorite of them. Some people think it's their best, some think it's the album that came after, which I'll get into later. But uh, Headquarters is a very good album. Um, this one they had more control of. They didn't have uh, Don Kirshner uh, pulling the strings. They did have session musicians, but for the first time they did get to play their, music, their uh, instruments here. Uh, told me forget that girl's good you just may be the one shades of gray for Pete's sake really good song sunny girlfriend no time I actually like it's very and not a lot of thought went into it. it's just a standard blues track but I, I really like it and uh, Randy Scouse get uh, uh, really really a good album and it was on the top of the charts at number one until Sgt. Pepper came out. So that that's a great fact. But uh, headquarters, great album. All right, I got a fourth album here: up uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones Limited. I'm guessing the title came from all their horoscopes. I know that uh, Mike and Davey, I think, both shared the same birthday, so I guess they didn't want to call it Pisces, Pisces, Aquarius. So, uh, there it is. And uh, this is a good one. Some I think some people think this is their best one. It's very psychedelic. Uh, salesman, she hangs out. Uh, cuddly toy, words. Pleasant Valley Sunday. Um, Star Collector. It's just a really good album. Uh, I don't know if they had as much control in this one. I'm sure they got to play their instruments. I mean, just look at the back here. They played their instruments. Look at there. Look at Peter and Davey. <laughs> Good album. Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Jones. Can we just call it Heck J? <laughs> uh, Birds, the Bees, and the Monkeys. Their fifth album. A uh, bit of a weird mix here. It's like, and I think I one uh, fellow music reviewer. You know, it's like Mike Ness Smith songs mixed in with a bunch of Davy Jones uh, ballads and sap. Uh, although I do like Dreamworld. Uh, we were meant for each other is just terrible. Daydream believer. Great song. Writing wrongs is a bit experimental. I'll be back up on my feet. Uh, the poster I actually like. Heel box. Nine eight four seven. That's a good one. Valerie, it's awesome. And Zor and Zam sounds an an awful lot like a uh, a Jefferson Airplane song. I mean, just listen to it. It really does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the birds, the bees, and the monkeys. It's a weird album, but nothing could get more weird than their next album, which was a soundtrack to the movie Head. And I have seen the movie. I saw it here on YouTube. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but, um, it's a really interesting movie. I really liked it. And I'm going to be getting the soundtrack, which is very hard to find. From what I see, um, I found a copy on gem.com for about 15 bucks. So that and that's including shipping and handling. So that's not bad. 
But uh, yeah, this is this is an awesome collection of music. Um, I mean, this is just a catapult to my career in the uh, the monkeys. I highly recommend it if you are like me and do not have anything by the monkeys. This is the thing to get. It's like twenty one bucks. It's totally worth it. So, the drum series. See y'all later.